Good afternoon, Andy Jean here in the beautiful sunny Miami. We are here at the Night Ferry Conference with the team Realtor DR. Right here we have Mr. Cornell, one of the agents over there at Realtor DR, Dominican Republic. How you doing, brother? Doing well, sir. Doing well. Oh, man, you look great. You're smiling. Um, last time I saw you, you were in shorts. Dominican <laughs> Republic. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah, coming from church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's warm there. It's very quite warm. You have to dress appropriately. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Well, just to jump into uh, why I'm interviewing you, of course, you know, it is important that we educate the public. Um, one of the things that uh, Realton DR is set for what is to become a bridge uh, for, I would say, expats, you know, foreigners moving to the, to the Dominican Republic. And, you know, even myself, I'm an expat, and I am also living in the Dominican Republic, working remote in Red State residence. But you're the professional. Uh, tell me a little bit of why, you know, obviously you're working as a, a, an agent at Real to DR. Mm -hmm. Why are you in Miami? Are you selling homes here? Well, um, I'm newer to the industry. Okay. Um, I'm newer um, at Real to DR. Yes. I appreciate everything. One thing about this company, they are going to um, equip you with the tools that it takes to be successful. I've only been there for just a little over a month. But the reason that I'm here in Miami at this Mike Ferry conference is to, of course, sharpen my arsenal, get more tools in my arsenal so that I can become, you know, very successful when I get back to the island, um, continue to make contacts here in the U.S. because a large contingency of our people that we get, expats, they come from the U.S. And I, I've got a, a, an extensive um, array of people that I know. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I mean, uh, obviously you're a profession, right? What, what is it that you have noticed, like the folks that haven't, show interest in moving into the Dominican Republic. What are the questions that they're asking you? Um, at least what is it that you can see the indicators of why they're more? Great question. Um, like myself, uh, newer to the DR, um, obviously the weather. You know, the weather is it's beautiful. It's paradise. And so a lot of people are attracted to that. But um, our U.S. dollar goes a little farther there, okay? Um, property that you might pay, you know, uh, a lot of money for here in the United States, you can get, you know, a little bit more for your money. Uh, well, a lot more for your money because you can get beachfront and beautiful uh, scenery, uh, ocean view. You can get things like that for less money than you would pay here. So what the um, people, what they're asking me is, how did I do it? Why did I do it? Um, I just let them know that you, you know, uh, we weren't afraid. You know, you kind of get afraid because you get into your comfort zone and you don't want to do it. Um, you think about all the time that a lot of people dream about possibly moving, but, you know, you, you can't be afraid, you know. So I tell them, don't be afraid. If it's something that you want to do, make sure you do your research and go ahead and uh, um, just put both feet in the water and do it. That's right. Well, I'm glad that you highlighted motivation, right? Um, I wanted you to be, to be a little bit more specific on their motivation. Well, I can tell you what my experience has been, right, as an agent as well. I've noticed that friends are telling me they're overworked. Um, I've been hearing, you know, friends are getting fired from companies that they've been 15 years in, hoping to get to that retirement stage just to get, you know, their, their, their paycheck or their job. Absolutely. Loss. And you have folks who are just overworked, right? They, they want something different. And, you know, I mean, this, these are a few of the things that I'm, I'm current. And, um, there's not necessarily economics to say, right. And it's, if you have the dollar, it goes really long in New York, but what would you say that? You know, one of the top two main factors why expats are going to at least become an expat. Um, for one, uh, the you don't feel like you're in the rat race. The, you don't feel so tense and got to, got to go, go, got to. Yeah, <laughs> you don't feel so so tense and it, it's, you know, you can relax there. And that's what we're experiencing, my wife and I, we're experiencing that I don't have to be somewhere. I don't have to. You know, that tension. And so, and I try and tell people that too. So that's one motivation uh, is the, the relaxation. Another motivation that I don't know how many people are talking about is once my wife's job shut down as far as having needed an office and they said everybody can work remote, it's perfect. The, the, it, it's a great motivating uh, factor for people who work, work remotely. You can just go and you can work remote, you know, living in, in you know, Again, I'll use the word loosely paradise. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that's another motivation. I'm not tied to an office. I'm not tied down. So I can uh, I can move around and I can go and work remotely in a nice spot. 
Well, the popular term, the popular term that I've been hearing is a digital, digital nomad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, being a digital mm-hmm. nomad, as long as you have a presence or online access, you could pretty much work from anywhere in the world. And I've been seeing a lot of my colleagues and, and professional and business partners as well doing the same thing. So that's, that's truly amazing. But tell me a little bit about, um, I would say, what you've captured from the Mike Ferry conference that you're going to take back to, to home and planning your own, your own business. Again, being newer in the industry, one thing, um, again, uh, Realtor DR uh, equips you. One thing we talked about was the pre-qualification uh, script and the pre-qualification uh, end of things. Um, I've known it. I know that. But here they kind of refined it for me and showed me yeah. just how important it is so that um, once you, you get a person nicely pre-qualified, A, you're not spinning your wheels going after something that's not going to be fruitful. And B, you're not um, you're not wasting your time and the the client's time when it's just not time for them. So uh, um, that that pre qualification uh, piece it was really really important for me, and I'm going to zone in on that. We're also talking about the different uh, um, personality types. Mm-hmm. Tells you how to deal with each type of personality, whether they're you know somebody who's who needs a, uh, analytics, whether they're a person who's a feeler, and so you get to to kind of hone in on. Who am I dealing with and how do I deal with them specifically so that we can get to the end result? Wow. That's, you know, that's some incredible training. Um, I like the fact that you talk about the pre-qualifier because usually us as agents, we're always excited to help someone. And you making that point also resonates with me as well because I too have found myself out there with, with individual buyers who didn't even have a penny in the bank, right? Didn't even understand the process of, of owning a, a property. And so I, I love that fact because you're working with qualified buyers, folks that's going to make the necessary decision. And of course, put you in a position that for you, not only for them to have a new home, but be able to be it to win. Exactly. All right. Exactly. Well, tell us a little bit about um, Realtor DR. Why should people choose you as an agent and Realtor DR as a broker to represent them? Man, I... I speak so highly of Realtor DR, not just because I'm an employee there, but because of the matrix that, that uh, Breton and Bobby have set up. They have it set up for you to succeed. The way that they use social media, the way that they use the, the scripts and the Mike Ferry training, the way that we're a cohesive team. It's a cohesive, since I've come in, there's, you know, they say there's no I in the word team. And we truly exemplify that. Uh, everybody works, you know, with everybody. If there's a listing that belongs to somebody else, they're like, hey, I got this for you. It's a serious, a cohesive team. And on the North Coast, you're not going to find a more premier uh, uh, brokerage than, than Real to DR. They, we really, really, um, the inventory, um, the, the website is so, um, so easy to move about, self-explanatory. And that's why a lot of people are gravitating our way. And I'm I have nothing but uh, high regard for Realtor DR, the way that I've been treated and the way that they treat people. You come in, you come into a, a completely professional atmosphere, um, and uh, it's just its just amazing. It's wonderful. Well, listen, man, you said a mouthful. I'm looking at it here, man. There's over $100 million of inventory. So you guys basically own the whole Amber Coast. My gosh. <laughs> That's amazing. You got properties there ranging from 62000 to $10 million. Oh my goodness, I see a nice inventory of commercial properties. And you know, I, know I don't wanna to dive too deep into it, but we're not just talking about being able to buy a home, but you can also jump into commercial projects, whether it's a small apartment project or a big hotel project. Man, you guys do it all. And let me throw this last piece in here. Are you guys the real, the brokerage firm that also has an architectural firm within the company? As an architectural firm, if you come to our office right next door, there's an architectural firm, you can actually buy the land that you want and you can actually sit down with an architect, build it how you want, and then connect with a builder to build the building for you. Oh, wow. So, I mean, complete, you know, one-stop shop, you know, whether if you want something from a studio or if you want something, you know, huge piece of commercial property, you can get it in the one-stop shop right there at Realtor DR. Well, I want to say, you know, thank you for your service, Cornell. It was great talking to you. And I guess we'll see you on the other side. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.